Come on. Oh, hello everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today. There we go. The invisibility cloak got blown off. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... Please remind the Lieutenant Drakir at your service. And yes, I took the candle. <laughs> he has candle, you no take. Anyways, welcome. I take candle! Welcome. <laughs> welcome to SteamWorld Dig, which was one of the first games I streamed, I believe. I, well, my, my poor memory is well known. And yeah, uh, this, at the very, it was one of the first, I presume. And yeah, I never recorded it while streaming, so well to complete the archive of well recorded and streamed games a bit, we're returning to it. Plus, I think you said that you never saw actually saw me play this or such. It was way before uh, I joined. Way before, like, not even was uh, in very maybe just almost just met in Gears Two almost. Shortly after there. Tell you, and uh, when it was very new to sh screen share on Discord. Yeah. In fact, there was. Let's say, these people, I did try to watch. I tried to watch it on stream, on Steam, if you could. It was horrible, no sound. On Discord, no success. And I ended up just uh, uh, giving up. And yeah. it was just. just get it to new, new know each other. Yeah. And here we are. But Discord is actually working now for screen share. Uh, yeah. Uh, I still remember the broad strokes of this game, as well as SteamWorld Dig 2, which I also streamed but didn't record back in the day. And <clears throat> so, yeah, it'd definitely be interesting to see how you react to everything. Uh, but we won't be going immediately from this game to the sequel. Well, or SteamWorld Heist and Quest after that. I think I will do them in that order, Heist, then Quest, because Heist came out first. Uh, we are interspersing it with some other games. Or one game we will be restreaming again. And, yeah, two new games, since, well, we never, well, I never streamed Steam Quest, uh, <laughs> SteamWorld Heist or Quest before. I'm putting a game that I haven't streamed either in between, that I've been wanting to stream for quite a bit, for quite a while. But yeah, between <clears throat> the schedule as I've got it planned at the moment will be, of course, this game first. Then we return. Then I stream return. No, not. <laughs> okay, breathe, slow down a bit. <clears throat> the current schedule as I have planned Steam will dig. Then Mark of the Ninja Remastered, Steam Will Dig 2, and then the fan remakes, sort of, of Rayman 1, Rayman Revolution. Because we've streamed basically every other Rayman game with a story out there, except for one. So that'll be a good way to stream that without, well, <laughs> going with Dark Souls difficulty. Because that game is freaking hard. <clears throat> But yeah, enough chatter. I'm using my controller. Let's yeah, let's crash this one and get started. And yeah, this is the first of the SteamWorld uh, games. Nuts for cold. Well, I don't reckon I'll get out of the way. I'll get out the way I got in. Could be part of my uncle's mine, I guess. All it needs is a splash of paint. Better explore it before the rest of my light dwindles. Say, what do you think you're doing? Your dramatic entrance just caved the roof in. Yeah, I'm sorry, miss. My uncle sent me the claims to this mine. The claim to this mine. I was heading to Tumbleton to find out why when I fell through. Oh, you're Joe's nephew? He's been gone a while. 
I've been sneaking down here, mining what little I can, and I just found him. I'm sorry. You should go see for yourself. Okay, simple controls. 2D platformer. I'll wait here and try to find a way out. And yeah, the whole thing with the Steam World games is, well, <laughs> all the characters are all steam-powered robots. Sentient ones at that. And this is the first one? Yep. The very first one, I believe. It's been a while, Uncle. Sorry I didn't make it here before you left us. You always claimed we were so much alike. Can't say I understand why you sent me to claim, though. I'm no miner. Well, I hate to rob you of your plunder. If I could just, bar I could just borrow your pickaxe, I might get out of this uh, calaboose. Cala okay, that's a new one for me. Long old pickaxe, with which we can, well, dig, of course. We can dig upwards as well, which is a bit of a rarity in these sort of mining games. Typically, they only let you mine downwards and to the sides. So you found a pickaxe. You do look a, yeah, you do look a proper miner with it. That's good. The lever operating the door out of here got buried when you dropped in. You'll have to clear out a tunnel below us to get to it. Okay. Let me actually check down here. And yeah, take ops for health and such. Okay. Can't mind that. Would have been a bit funny if we could just undermine her, quite literally. Okay. Simple enough. And Big way suddenly, we want. the captain got a new title. What? The undermine her! Oh, yeah. You can't mine when you're clinging to a wall like this, but we can wall jump to get out of pits, so there's no need to dig stairs or such. Is there a special icon up there? A special kind of what? A uh, Ficon. Yeah, no, that, I believe that's for refilling. Oh, actually, I probably should go grab that. Yeah, you can see the light on the upper right. That rhymes. Basically, that's like a, it's not our, it's not as important as our health, but it is, well, it does make it easier to see around you. And yeah, sort of interrupt you, but it did look important. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> it is reasonably important, as well, if, if you can't see where you're going, it's going to make things a whole lot difficult. Or a whole lot more difficult. Plus, you'll be... you're likely to miss important or valuable stuff. Because, well, we are minor. Uh, we are a minor now. Uh, the kind that is allowed in the bar. <clears throat> so we will be needing to go look for resources. Archaea. Okay. And here's Tumbleton. You handled that mine like a real pro. Seeing as you're the new owner and all, maybe you should keep it open. Bring any ore you find back up to me. Uh, yeah, back up to me, and I'll give you a fair aid for it. This town sure can use it. I'm Dorothy, by the way. Now, why don't you try mining some precious stones? Yeah, let's actually first talk to the few people who are here. Lola. Nice to see a new face in town, especially such a handsome one. Don't get many newcomers. Folk are more likely to move in the other direction. So, you are a new miner. Sorry to see old Joe finally go. He'd not looked well for some time now. You're a quiet fellow, just like him, huh? You just let me do the talking then. <laughs> Lampshade hanging. And Frankie's upgrades. Okay. <laughs> okay. I. Either I forgot or I just completely missed it before, but yeah, he, he's just completely missing a leg. <clears throat> oh dear. 
My friends call me Hank or Cranky. You can call me Old McCrank. Oh, Mr. McCrank. You're not gonna. Uh, you're going to want a better pickaxe. Well, we're fresh out of resources. The mine haven't been closed and all. And yeah, of course. Uh, I'll, I'll attempt to voice act him. Okay, we can do that next time. We will be visiting him quite a you know, quite a few times. Seeing Mo, well, he's our he's where we get our arm crates. Okay. Let's see, let's just grab ourselves a Trashian, of course. Now, every one of these games has like a, a trash or. Um. And yeah, there is that thing down there. Before I dig down, dig a side passage. Uh, the yeah. thing with those is that they will eventually wake up if we stay nearby. But yeah, they yeah. won't be able to dig out more. Yeah, I, I think it's from Croft the World. I've seen something similar. I feel like I have an idea what they do in order to avoid them. Yeah, and if we get you know, if we get to them before they before, before they get free, hatch, whatever the accurate term would be, we can just kill them whilst they're still buried. I don't remember much about combat in this game, but probably best to just avoid them as much as possible. Okay, and yeah, when we get up, we get our light refueled. Okay. Okay, seven bucks of stuff. What a way for rank up. There. And yeah, I think the way I'm going to do this is mostly at, at, at the start I mostly will just dig sideways so that I have access to most of everything or that I will be able to dig down to most everything if need be but I will let's see I will try to just dig a singular path down straight as possible so that it'll be easier to get up and down. There. Maybe not the best way, but that is the way that I'll be taking. It. I'll be doing it for the moment. There. And yeah, we can only carry a certain amount of the same things. Uh, I don't remember if we pick up more of it and have an empty spot, if it'll fill in that one, or if it just won't be picked up at all. Can that gun get out of there? No. Okay, they're staying up there. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's just quickly go up and sell this. Here we go. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. You should go see my dad. You know, my, yeah, my daddy at the upgrade shop. You'll fix that pickaxe so you can dig even deeper. No need to tell him you saw me down there earlier, though. Okay. And yeah, as we hit these threshold, yeah, these thresholds. We will unlock new upgrades and such. Let's see. I've got some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your turn. Uh, calm, calm me horse over there. Calm me horses. Take a deep breath and calm down. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep my voice with this. Mm. Now I got something to work with. What do you have then? I'll sharpen that pickaxe for ya. And then let you dig into the harder soil. <laughs> yeah, what a like, sound. <laughs> uh, like you were choking to death, but yeah. Choking to death. Take a look at him. Uh, he probably would be. He'd probably have something stuck in whatever counts for his throat. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> A pickaxe should let you take on harder dirt deeper down. When I was scavenging for ore, I found something else too. 
cave. You might want to check it out. Joe used to bring all sorts of stuff down there. Be careful though. Chris has been a bit feisty since around the time he went missing. So yeah, it won't just be digging for resources and such. We will specifically be aiming for caves and such. And on that little mini map on the upper right, you can prop you can see that uh, the pickaxe icons. That's how much or how many swings you will need uh, to break one of these blocks. So, yeah, as with any of these mining games, you will need to upgrade your stuff eventually, even to just stop yourself from being stuck. Oh, okay, he's, he's now going for one. Hmm, I probably... I should have broken that one. Okay. Anything? Okay, there is some stuff here. Okay, yeah, the old ones now break in one swing, but these still take... Yeah, <laughs> still take three. Okay. Let me see that. There, there, there. Citrum. Okay. I need to almost soon just write up a list of all the like, kind of gemstones. Yeah, there are just a heck of a lot out in the world. Yeah, and uh, there's a play a lot of Asian Wonders 4 and all that. It could be nice to have a, a few gemstones to name of the, uh, to characters or cities or whatnot. Okay. Like, uh... Okay, then I got a bottle. Uh, oh, Pearl Harbor. All right. It, it doesn't sound too bad. It sounds short enough and all that. Yeah. And yeah, it's now confirmed. If we have an open slot, it will just fill in. <clears throat> if we pick up more, of course. Keeping mine open will really help. That will really help this time. Okay, not enough yet, and no new upgrades, so back in we go. Yeah, this is going to be a decent amount of the game, but we will also just get to platforming bits and such. And yeah, you can just smack them in the face. They will, they can drop health. Probably not going to be an always case. The always is probably not always going to be the case, but still. There. Okay. Let's see. I think we can probably go with like three spaces between these shafts. We shouldn't miss. We shouldn't miss too many things if we try to go for that. But of course, the deeper we go, the more open spaces there will eventually be. Left of the light. Oh, the power of the candle! Let's see. Hmm. Yep, no room. Okay, the citrines take up a whole a whole slot on their own. Okay. Oh, now I see what you mean. Makes sense, since they are the most valuable thing we can find at the moment, at 16 bucks, I think it was. There. Hmm. You had a chance to look into that cave I found? Not yet. But we are getting to the next one. Medium pouch and the lamp. Okay. Oh dear. So you are keeping your uncle mine? Uh, no, no. So you're keeping your uncle's mind open. Dangerous place. Lost my leg to a shiner while fixing a whole tube in them tunnels. Guess I could mend it myself, but... The cobbler's bear and I were shod as we said in the old country. <laughs> Can't hardly even <laughs> translate at all. <laughs> The 
still we are mining still we are a mining town. Can't really get along without a mine now. What will you have then? Okay, we can also get ourselves repaired here. You know what? I go like the glass of water. Okay. We can actually buy a bigger pickaxe or extra inventory space. Hmm. Uh, by the way, am I sounding Scottish when I try to talk as, as him? <laughs> a bit. That is accidental. And I probably couldn't do a bit more American, but I don't know what accent is supposed to have. Problem is, I don't think it will resonate well with some accents with the headphones on. <laughs> if that makes sense. Let's see. Plus two ground damage. Sturdier than what you've got, at least. So, yeah. We can upgrade the pickaxe, get some extra inventory. And these ladders? Well, simple enough. They're ladders. A uh, pr practical thing to keep on your person. You can stack them on top of each other to get out of tricky situations. And lamps. Well, it's clear what lamps do. Let's actually get this one first. Okay. There. Up that way. Okay. Okay, there will be ways to make it uh, less of a hassle to get up and down eventually. But those will obviously get unlocked later on. Uh, let's see, now we've got these boulders here. We can't mine them. And, well, they'll fall down if we mine away the ground underneath them. So, need to be careful with that. And you're already showing that building or digging this here was a decent idea because there's a bit here that we can't get without going without going around. How? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to use a, a different voice for that damn guy. Okay, you do have a moment to run underneath to grab anything, but of course it's a risk. Oh, we have those things that. They look like they feel it something. Okay, so they will immediately go through soft dirt and then possibly destroy stuff on the meat. Oops. Ironium. Oh dear. Uh, let's see if I can try. Howdy, partner! <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, how was that? Uh, survivable. I I'm not aiming to offend people, I just aim to entertain, yes. Yeah. I'm not an accent master. But I feel like actually I could, yeah, when I was a kid I did try to practice accents a little bit when I was alone and all, but... That was bloody many years ago. Okay. I do believe the caves generally have some valuable resources in them, so let's not go there yet. Let's go sell our stuff. We'll probably get... Will we get enough? Let's see. Four. Thrashium. Iron. Iron is, I believe, two dollars each. Uh, for now... Hmm. We'll have to see. For now, just need to or pour our way back up here. Let's see. Uh, just enough for the pouch. There. Hmm. Uh, and yeah, bigger upgrades are going to appear every time we buy those, of course. So yeah, just a constant uh, drive to just well, keep your <laughs> keep your equipment up to snuff. And yeah, there is fall damage, so you don't want to fall too far down. Oh dear. Okay, can't get there from this side now. So we just dig down. Which is not advisable in Minecraft at the absolute least. There we go. 
Okay. Yeah, these... These caves often also serve as a bit of a tutorial or showcase for things, like crumbling dust or crumbling dirt. That's a complete refill, just in case. And I forget if those... Those stones look like they're like traps or something. But I'm not going to risk setting them off. Nope. Well, the, all those in it died. Yep. Yep. Oh, wait, is it a different one? Oh, yeah, it's a different one. Yep, yep. Almost. There we go. There. Okay. And there in the dirt we have something new that we'll also need to go find. We want to keep upgrading our stuff. Okay, that we can't break yet. We'll need a stronger pickaxe. We can go look down here and find this thing, whatever the hell it is. Hello. We've got speed boots now. And uh, yeah. If basically, we can now actually just run. Uh, no, I'm dumb. I need a I need a ladder to get that. I can't see what's at the bottom there, so oh. Hmm. Can I? Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, that's that also works. Okay, so we can mine slightly diagonal from ourselves if we stand on an edge. And carefully. Okay. There. Okay. And, yep, run jump to get more height. And back at the start. Okay. Now, we could go mine a bit more. We just have one more spot, so let me just grab this, whatever it is. Yep, trashium. Okay, that's more like it. Copper. Okay. There. I probably should go buy a ladder or two, just in case there's something valuable just out of reach. Okay. Dang, what's that on your feet? I've never seen anything quite like that. Did you find it in the cave? You think Joe left it there for you? Maybe there's more down the air down in the mine somewhere. Did you show it to my father? Are you really sure? Okay. First we sell. And we are we yeah, unlock the coal answer. Oh dear. Oh, you found one of those caves, did you? Don't know what a nut or stuff he was up to now down there. Why am I going with the accent? Cogs and steams that I get in the middle with some weird things in it. There we go. That was what I was improving to begin with. I don't know what I went with the Scottish accent or whatever accent that's supposed to be. So I did let him stack some of it here in the store with glowing stuff. I'd rather see him store it in the cave he dug deeper down. What do you have it then? Give you give it the six to be Okay, you don't need to nope. do these. <laughs> Okay, let me get at least two of those. Okay. I should also keep talking to her, just to see what she has to say. There's some mighty fine boots you've got. Uh, you've got them. Bet you're quick as a greased-in steam hog with them on. But we can get quite a bit of speed now. Strange looking, but fine boots indeed. Okay. We, yeah. I might have missed a bit of dialogue with her, but oh well. Uh, there. Okay. 
Now then. I do believe sometimes at the edges of the of the shaft, there can be hidden stuff or hidden caves that you aren't actively pointed to. So I probably should keep an eye on out for any of that as well. Iron. Let's open this up so we can actually go around. Okay. There's another one of those. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah, early on, I'll probably be focusing half as much, you know, about half on mining stuff and getting down deeper. But as we go on, I, yeah, I think we'll need less and less money to get upgrades. It will still help, of course, but we'll able to focus more on just getting to the next thing. Yo, I'm back. Welcome back. And here's a cave that uh, wasn't marked. Let's take a look. Okay. 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 There and there. Okay, now can I... No. Hmm. Ruin is wing. And are you skipping the cogs? Hmm? Are you skipping the cogs? The dry cogs, or whatever you call it. Yeah. That's, a, that's a full refill. And we... Oh. That's just a barely too high to jump to, and as you can see in the lower right next to me, we can't put down ladders here. Okay. That's already the wall. Wait, does it split here, or does it narrow? Upper... Not forget, side first, then down. Is this just a dead end here filled with minerals? There. Hmm. Kind of looks. Hmm. I can't actually tell if this is a dead end down here or not. But I will just grab these minerals. Oh, oh no. Uh, let's see. There. Okay. Nope. Nope. And yeah, like our light has gone out. Our light has gone out. But, yeah, that doesn't... Yeah, that isn't too harmful for us, since there's still ambient lights and such. Okay, it's not like anything in the dark is going to try and sneak up on us. There. Okay. <laughs> what? I just noticed that I was snuck up on you. Okay, can we afford... Yes. Okay. Yeah, the pickaxe is probably the, the more important upgrade since, well, it'll let us dig down faster and faster. Okay. As long as we cling to a wall, we won't take any fall damage if we don't fall too far down from the wall itself, of course. Yeah, now, where was the GM you... Uh... Oh, yeah, you, are, you had the right way. Yep, over here. Over there. Okay, now I see some stuff this way. So... There. Okay, nothing there. Okay, yeah, we'll need something else that we don't have yet to get through here. So... There's already lights on it, so no need to do much else to mark it. 
there. Okay. Let's continue checking here if this is a dead end or not. Actually, no. Oh, okay, it is just those... Okay, the, it does split around this big brick here for a bit. Oh. It's not seeing much of importance down there. There. Okay. If there's anything up there, we can just go around and pick that up later. Let's see. Really? Okay, it seems they only really start to wake up when we dig or move near them. Well, uh, dig. But uh, they keep making sounds whenever you dig. Yeah, but also when I was walking near them, I believe. But I could just be wrong on that. I think you might be track on that as well. Okay. You're so. already digging with the fishes. Yeah, we are diggy diggy hole. We're diggy diggy robots. Oh. Hmm. Now I have that tongue stuck in my brain again. Okay, welcome. There, some iron. Now I have another song stuck in my head. <laughs> and now make it a techno remix of the two. There, with that. No toes remaining. Okay, okay, nothing here. Probably should. Oh, but wait, before I forget. Do you remember you talked about the... The uh, sign must be a tanky halfling and you want to see tanky halflings and all that? Yeah. I made that out of ages wondrous recently. <laughs> of course. I'm not playing just them. However, I did send you a screenshot to, to, of them a few days ago that you never responded to. Uh, yeah, but there's been something with my internet recently that it just... That is just slow with loading in images or something you know, for some reason. All right, yeah, that does happen sometimes. But yeah, I did give the halfling leader for that group a name. Who? Oh. Killian Silverhelm. <laughs> of course. Don't did don't spill into Silverhelm even. Is actually can you say that in Dutch? Uh, silver helm. Uh, oh, it, it is the same as in English then. About just with a, a Z instead of an S. Yeah, when I looked up my little, which actually is in front of me, I forgot to put it back. My little pocket handbook <laughs> your, of Dutch. Your, your pocket dictionary. Yeah, pocket word book in this case. I didn't have a big book, sadly enough, when I was looking for a Dutch book. And uh, when I saw it there, I thought, really? What? Uh, at least someone spelled it differently, but that the only thing they changed was the first letter? Like, had I seen, yep. had I seen that spelling somewhere else? I would have just thought, oh, they just been trying to be a little funny or something. But no, it's actually a spelling in Dutch with a Z. Yep. <laughs> Just correcting my uh, armrest a bit, the cloth that I have on the, the desk to ask, act as one, because, yeah, the, the heat is starting to build again, and, yeah, yeah it's just not comfortable if I have to lay my arm bare on the uh, desk. Okay. Break it, you bought it! <laughs> I will see if I can finally get a proper voice in for this character, but I don't, I don't want to uh, have to give him the same damn voice as uh, a certain someone in a series we return to in Spooktober. Okay. I want to give him a bit at least different, but I always see what I can do. It, it's going to be some bit of fits, but also does it wreck my throat? Okay, or too loud. Okay. Hmm. It, it is 
it is very likely that at some point or another you could probably screw yourself over by not leaving a way back up. So let's do what we <laughs> let's do all that we can to avoid that. What would happen if you did do that? Actually, what happens if you die? Good question. Tap them? Are you telling me you never died or lost in this game? More that I don't remember it, at least. That or my brain just denies it ever happening. Both are very likely scenarios. And oh, mm. I just remember this of as about the halflings. I actually named the halfling culture a meme. Uh, the half pints? Uh, no. I just trying to. Actually, I have screenshots. I'm gonna double check this. Okay. Good thing I did that. Okay, now we're now we're running into breakable dirt or dirt that'll break underneath us around here. Hmm. If we will it remain broken after that? Or Okay, okay yeah, it stays Tulip broken. Hill. Tulip Hill halflings. <laughs> okay. So you made a bunch City? of Dutch halflings. Uh, yeah, and here's, here's the fruit city's name. Uh, I hope I... I don't know how to say this in Dutch, but... Tulpstam. And there's uh, insignia, a purple shield... with blue flowers. Two blue flowers. Okay, so you, you may name their capital Tulpstam? Or after the but stem of a tulip? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, if I want to trust as we will say, probably say Tulpstam? We call it tulips tulpon. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot. I, 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 you need to give them a title, and I actually picked the title uh, for this uh, Killian variant. Oh. Emperor. Yeah. And they are industrious halflings, basically. So heavy armor, he, he even he even rides a boar in with armor. The only thing that's not armored is their bloody shin and feet! Okay. If you were to ever start streaming on your own, I'd presume most of it would just be War Total Warhammer 3. Uh, this is from Age of Wonders 4. Yeah, Age of Wonders 4 and that. Maybe? I feel like I could do a lot of more roleplay things with Age of Wonders 4 easier. Maybe we can. Recently, the, the, some updates are going to allow you to change the faction biography. Okay. Yes, I like. I always wanted to do that. Just. I've been lazy to do anything with it so far. Uh, of course. Okay, I'm making it m difficult for myself to get a path that goes back upwards. Uh, well, Close this off. I need to remember to do this list, but I, I have done rum so far. Okay, and what uh, did you make him? Like a, a drunk pirate wolf? Uh, <coughs> I'll take um, it as a yes. Well. <laughs> 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 Minus the drunk! Minus the drunk! Uh. <laughs> more, more of conquistador wolves! If that makes sense. Okay, yeah. And the, uh, the insignia is a brown shield with two crossbones. <laughs> of course, because wolves just gotta have bones, huh? Either to bite or to pick. Let's see, I, I, I think there's what's more to it. i gonna double check. Uh, 
Hey, uh, the spaces group with the word called, or as his faction, Cyberbone Lupine. <laughs> Hence the bones. Oh, I gave him the name Romulus. Was that a name of a Roman emperor? Was it Rom Romulus or Rom Romulus or something? Remus and Romulus. Supposedly the founders of Rome, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I, I may be the wolf of the Rome, but a bit more extended than Romulus. Romulus, I, I, I don't speak Spanish. I'm probably gonna push this. Aular Sable. I will push it for the volley. And the throne city, Silverbone Keep. And I actually even gave him a horse to ride. Okay, sometimes you kind of find these little pockets where you need to uh, not really do a little puzzle or something, but you can. It's a bit more difficult to get into them, but they typically have something valuable, you know, valuable in them. Hmm. Let's see. How do I put down? A tool Y. Okay. Put that up. Yep. Losing that out. Citrin. And iron. Okay. And yeah, ladders. You know, <laughs> ladders will fall down if you dig up the under the ground underneath them. Brain? What the heck, brain? What? I, I, I know what you said, my but, but my brain? Your imagination went somewhere else. <laughs> Should I even ask then? Citrus and iron. <laughs> like uh, an iron orange. Uh, more of a you squirt some citrus uh, fruits over the iron. I call it healthy. Oh, well, Warforts probably would like that. I don't even know oh, what right. war force he, he eats, if they even eat. I, I heard that people don't like them in the MD. I've heard it's more of 50 50. Teleporter. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, now we can buy these if we had those orbs. And well, we've seen one in the wall already, we just couldn't get to it yet. And yeah, we're also going to need them for upgrades, so we'll want to be careful with spending those. Okay, so next upgrade is a bigger pouch. Or maybe upgrade the, the lantern to last long. Hmm, <laughs> longer. Hmm. <laughs> Lump? Longer. <laughs> yeah, 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 but before you correct yourself, someone said you said lump. Then you correct yourself. It was more like a lump in my throat with something, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just going to keep digging. Uh, you know what? If the weather is good tomorrow, mm -hmm. as in it's not warm, I'd probably be try to start a playthrough with uh, the Hoffling Helion. Oh, I'm sorry, Emperor Helion. All right, <laughs> do tell me how good slash terrible that goes. Well, I, I'm allowed to freely choose the traits. I kept some of them, but still halfling like. But I did also try to get some of them something that goes well with the culture. Like you get you get to pick a form. This is the species. They just have a standard trait, a few standard traits, but you can switch them out. Okay. And you can also pick a culture. So. I did pick something that was still often like, but also something that being the pizza culture called the industrious. Okay, Actually, it makes so, them look like one. So, discount dwarves? They actually look like they are wearing woman armor, so not too far off. Just not discounted in this case. More of a, again, tanky hawflings. Okay, that falling, these crumbling stone, these crumbling dirt blocks are going to be a nuisance. Since they'll force us to go downwards. Okay, 
or they can be used for like that. Okay. All right. There. Uh, you want? I'm gonna grab some ice cream that I do like, but I do have one complaint about this ice cream. No. Like, it's always been a bit expensive, like, when I was very, very young, it cost like 15, then when it went to 20, in Swedish KR, Kronor. Yeah. Then it went to 25, and in history, they have always been very big. So, it's been like, alright, fine, you get a, you get a big uh, ice cream from it. I bought them today, and they brought, of course, 30 Swedish KR, I thought, well, that's still big. But when I got home, I realized, hold on. It's smaller. Half the size. Of course. Welcome and to Streetflation. Uh, yeah, uh, here's the thing. During the early pandemic, the first year, I actually bought one, and but they were still big. And it cost around 25 them. Now they cost 30 and half the size. They're the size of a regular ice cream now. A big one. So yeah, I get things get a bit pricier, but what I hate is you you raise the price and shrink the product. I yeah. hate that. Ah! Oh. Hey, Ron. Hey, also <laughs> add that to the clips because I accidentally <laughs> freaked under here. When you speak of oh. the devil, clip and open. <laughs> and not you. We spoke about you earlier. Uh, funny how the timing works. <laughs> yeah, we actually uh, spoke of. I actually m finally made you in another, another game. Oh uh, yeah, I, I saw it. I was a uh, what was it? Was it was a fucking wolf with. Where what? Where was it? Was it in general gaming? Channel, I can't remember. In, in stream, two stream. No, no, no two no, stream. No, no, no. No, 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 I don't, I don't. Dream, Dream talk. Dream talk. Uh, okay. Yeah, which is a private uh, private channel on the Discord for, well, people that are, people who can freely join in on stream chat and such. Yeah, I'm cool with being Wolfman yeah. with the Wolfman Inquisition. <laughs> no, honestly, I would have preferred my colors to be green and blue. I can fix that. And also, I should probably send you a picture of something I almost picked for you. Mm, all right. Uh, it's... it's... Uh, let's see if I can pick it up. Uh... Yeah. What does it make me, me almost sneeze today? Hey, come on! should fix my image again. It looks like I'm either high or contemplating stuff. But then again, I always sound bored and or high, so it fits. Uh, you you sent me the pic of your <laughs> with them looking up. So that's fully yeah. on you. Yeah, I know. But yeah, how are you doing, Rom? I'm doing fine. A bit cold. Went out, so I'm a bit warmer. So, it's gonna, so I'm gonna get colder in a bit. Okay, Just we've got the opposite board. problem. Also, I forgot yeah. to move the mouse back. And I'm sending a picture to you on stream talk. There. <laughs> nice hat. <laughs> yeah, good. Actually, you know what? Could you could you make it so my symbol is that wolf instead of the uh, crossbones? Oh, the, you mean a wolf head? Yeah, the wolf head. Oh. Oh yeah, I was thinking and pondering on that, and I was unsure. Oh yeah, uh, what, what was you, the colors you wanted? Uh, dark green, dark blue. Obviously, I, luckily I have a, a mod that adds extra colors for... This game has very few colors, and probably is... If any other factor had the same background color as you, they need to force, be forced to change to a different one. The the question, what game is it? It's this is Steam World Oh, wait, which one are you asking us out here? The one that Drakir is making characters for. It's just Wonders 4. Okay, yeah. <laughs> There's no character creation in this game. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was wondering to name the 
action race, quote unquote, to the silver wolves or something, or golden wolves. So far, they've done to the, the silver bone lupine. Oh, hello. There's something up there. I want to look up something. Okay, hello. That was easy. Okay. But yeah, we've got a new technology slash ability, the steam jump, which, well, gives us a high jump if we have enough water to, well, make the steam. Uh-oh. Wait. You mean you have robot gas? <laughs> if you want to call it that, sure. Okay, that block there, that could only be broken from one side, which is, of course, the damage part. I just realized something. It kind of looks like I'm trying to prevent Rom from kicking someone's ass. <laughs> hold me back, boys. Hold me back. <laughs> and also, Rom, you're not allowed to take this candle. I took it fair and square for a gnome. Don't mean a kobold? All right, kobold. There we go. Okay, and that brings us all the way back here. Is nothing hidden here? Nope. Okay. But, but that's ice cream. Wrong. Make sure the captain doesn't die. Okay. Okay, we can use this teleporter to easily go back and forth. And let's see. Yeah, since uh, Lola has some interest in us, the short while Joe spent on the surface, he'd hang around the bar. Usually by himself, scribbling away at his notes. I found this old napkin he doodled on. Looks, uh, looks sort of like a map, don't it? He marked something on it too. Okay. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, blood. Yeah, they did make this ice cream smaller. So you found more of that te strange technology. Read how it just fits. Uh, how it just fits you like that. Like it's made. Hat. For what? Your cowboy hat. Yep. <laughs> okay. Oh. You've been down there anyway. Hey, <laughs> yeah, just like your uncle. He always went his own way too. If you can't dissuade. If I can't dissuade you, you might as well have your figures out. out. Uh, you kind of sound. You, where are you from, <laughs> Drakir? I I keep forgetting. Swede, Sweden. You're from Sweden. You sound like a Swedish man trying to do a Scottish accent. I can't. Damn it! I tried to do something different. <laughs> uh, but the Scots always returns. Uh, if I can't dissuade you, might as well help you figure some of it out. Lord, I have a sentence face with me to say. Don't want me daughter having to shoulder the work of another minor. Why am I going with Scottish? <laughs> because Probably Cranky old, uh, he's also, he also, yeah, he's named McCranky, or he said to call him Mr. McCranky, so. <laughs> Mac is almost <laughs> always Scottish or Irish. I, I was gonna suggest at least half of a sentence for the, for the name of my uh, party or group or whatever the fuck it is in Age of Wonders. Oh. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Calabra. With like, hang on, you know what? I'm just gonna post what, how it's written in, in screen talk. Yeah, do that for... So far I've given you a Spanish lost name? I... Basically what I could... Mangle up from uh, my Spanish book. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, that's believe it or not, uh, if I Hebrew for bad dog. You want it's also, me? it's also my, it's also my nickname in XCOM 2. You want All me right. to name you bad dog? Yeah, why not? Like, All at right. least have the name, the other half I'm leaving up to you. All right, and. I got to rest, uh, some intestinal smear. 
Aula Sabu. I. Ro Ron falling silent as if you just insulted his grandmother. I'm more confused. What, what is it? Uh, I hope it's supposed to translate to Howling Saber. Howling Saber. Okay, okay you know what? Well, say it again. Uh, Aula Sable. Sable. Uh, Aula Sable. I haven't tried. I haven't taken Spanish. That, that, terms. Dude, that's not Spanish. That's like mangling Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mangled. Yes. Again. I never take a special action. Uh, howling, one. Howling saber. Uh, the best I can give you, at least I'm not going insane, would be. Uh, sable, aullante, or algo así, or something like that. Might be the one I tried to. I, I did not. I did not double check uh, how I spelled it. I remember it was a beginning with an A. And I, yeah, you, I would write it a Swedish way, like one word there and one other word there. Yeah, uh, howling in Spanish does start with an H. No, wait, hang on, let me check, actually. I haven't, I'm... <laughs> Don't blame yourself, I've been there as well with Swedish at times. Oh, wait, no. It's with two else, I think. There. Does this have an opening? Okay, yeah, no, it doesn't like have an H. It has an A at the beginning. Yeah. All right. That's right, only one way. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try to mentally translate that. Yeah, for I, I did write it down on one of the screenshots a few days ago. I sent you. Oh, you probably may need to a lost picture. It's getting already trickier to get around since having to deal with Ooh. big boulders like this. Yeah, don't become a... Flatten scrap metal. Uh, I was going to go with Frisbee, but... <laughs> the, don't become a hubcap. <laughs> I think we can go with that one. Okay, deep tank and plate armor unlocked. Okay. Um, okay. Build most of this stuff with my own hands. Yeah, no... Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, no need to, to, to translate these. Over. Let's see. Joe's strange devices. He'd use them to create shortcuts back to uh, Tumbleton. You're welcome to try them out. But those use those orbs, which, well, of course, are more rare, so I'd rather not spend on that. Okay. Best pickaxe we can get at the moment. Okay, yeah, this teleporter makes it so much easier to get back around. I'm just breaking. Yeah, whatever. I'll fix it later. I used to remember. I kind of can't. I can't e do a horrible Spanish accent. So, one more stereotypical. So, Spanish people I have met have found it funny, apparently. Probably yeah. due to the picture I meant to email and give them. Actually, I've been try this with Rom. Okay. Rom, prepare your mind. Okay. Imagine a person in a barrel with a bandana over his face, oh, uh, over his mouth, and he, his eyebrows wiggles a lot when he talks. Hmm. And now comes the sentence. <clears throat> Hola, senor! Let us make some seaweed! <laughs> I have no idea why seaweed. It just came to my mind one day when I tried some... Uh, yeah, some kind of a uh, scarf around uh, my face, and that was the sentence that came up to my mind. I know the why. 
And as I wonder, is that offensive? <laughs> but yeah, uh, your thoughts on that sentence and accent? You sound like a Swedish person trying to play a Mexican accent. <laughs> it, it was bad, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I didn't say it was a muscle accent, did I? I did warn you it was possibly horrible. But yeah, I'm pulling it, I will pull it to people if that did sound fast, right? That was not my aim. But if I did make someone laugh, uh, that's good. Yeah. Uh. Okay. We need oh, something stronger to break through that. Pokemon? Pokemon what? There's a ball over there. Oh, that. Yep. That's that's one of those orbs that we can mine out. We, we, yeah, I grabbed a few earlier, but we'll need something to break this, since our pickaxe can't get through it. Well, here, you, know, you know what to say? Hmm. When in doubt? Only one of talent. Okay, I think I know what needs to be done here. But again, it's an ability. Oh, right. Okay, that confirms that those are spikes on the floor. We need another ability for that. And yes, those things seem to mostly react to the yeah, blocks getting mined out. What the? Yeah, we saw this earlier. Oh, well, I was away in probably then. Undead trooper, undead Koopa or something. And yeah, they can, well, <laughs> they can get themselves crushed. And they can break blocks around them. They look like a mix between a Triceratops and a Turtle. There. Uh, and now I'm just gonna play I did not kill Rom with my horrible accent. I've heard worse. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know what? I take it. I will take that as a compliment. There. Uh, uh. Oh, boy, that was right. There. Okay, well, it'll take a few more runs to get that next level. And... Come on! You said top of the morning. Yep. I've been doing the right I should be supposed to be some more Irish, not Scottish. <laughs> okay, let's get this water tank so that we have another one of those. And may as well get some extra health, just in case. Also, I'm just going to fill up with these. Just in case I do manage to get myself, uh... <laughs> Just in case I do manage to get myself stuck somewhere. Yeah, I uh, have expected, um... Where is... Mm, I have expected Hex to react to the picture I posted on pictures, you know, the drawing. It could be that they reacted but just didn't post about it. Ah. Uh, let's, let's not dig straight into that. Okay. And yeah. Evan Urine. Okay. Now there's a character in uh, in Honkai Star Rail called Ev Evan Turin, which is supposed to be named after a gem of some sort. <laughs> what the okay, one of these bugs trying to freaking Assassin's Creed, me from above. Damn it, heal! Uh, now, that, now, I, now that's mentally stuck in my brain. And I just recently added a insect weed species into Age of Wonders, so... You know what? No. No, I'm not gonna meet a assassin bug there. There. Let me grab this first, some more silver. I 
I've probably said this before, but I actually prefer silver over gold. Oop, dolomite. I can't say I've heard of that. Uh... There. <laughs> there, there. Yeah, I don't remember Sylvie being you preferred it. Kind of why I went with the silver helm. Yeah. For the halfling. I thought, well, the silver looks good, and it's the healer's favorite metal. So, silver helm it is. Maybe not exactly favorite, but. I do think, I do feel that gold often gets rather overrated when it comes to precious metals, to the point that, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I, just design-wise, I like silver, uh, silver's color better than gold often. Not to say that gold yeah. doesn't look good. I think sorts. a lot of people, like, I think it's more the visuals of gold. You know, it's a lot shinier, and in the case of silver, it's taken more of a supernatural quality since it can now be used to kill wolves and werewolves and vampires. So a yeah. lot of people more easily associate uh, gold with wells and silver with, like, killing supernatural entities or something like that. Yeah. Sounds about right. Look, I do like Hero Emerald, but it depends on in what context. Like, if there's something about the day with a gold accent, like a, for like an example, dark metal that's almost black, but you have a bit of a gold trimming on the edges. That I feel like looks nice. Gold with silver edges. But if you have a, a armor that's fully gilded, fully gold, no thank you. Yeah. That, that just looks tacky. Tacky is an understatement. There. Also the whole thing with greed and all that, and gold being forever associated with that. Ooh, that that's going a long way down. Oh dear. Okay, now oh, we're no, having no, to no. do with these... I had another name planned for the Halfling Helium. Uh, I was yep. able to find it in the book. I was trying to find a uh, something that would trot it as a silver boar. Okay. But I was unable to find it. I think I then I remember that, that it would probably be rather really worthy, and I guess swine is probably not the best. Uh, like silver swine, probably not the best, best sounding name. Yeah. I the, the, the word the word for boar in Dutch is Everswijn, which would translate somewhere to like a forever swine. Which well could be taken could be entirely taken the wrong way. Yeah, we we say I said that the Swedish said we say Wildswijn, wild boar. Okay. Now we're having to deal with these here now, in the open. Yeah. Yeah, th these pockets of water, they're finite. If you've been keeping, if you've been looking carefully, you'll see that the the level in them actually goes down whenever I absorb some of it. So yeah, they're a finite resource. There's a lot of area up there that I haven't seen through. Bit of a small hall this time. Okay. Nope. That's what I wanted to dig. Okay. I'll need to dig another path around here to make it easier to get around. Let's There. Okay. 
Okay, and back out. Okay. Yeah. Pressurizer and damaging pickaxe. Okay. What do do what do those do? Okay. Plus one enemy damage. Want to treat the tip of your pickaxe with this? Make sure to work with most fiends. Okay, so enough damage from the ground, but against enemies. And it's sturdy armor and dual tanks. I guess we're gonna add another tank next to you, the one you've got. And the wielding should make those armor pieces fit together better. Okay, pressurizer. Oh, minus 50 steam jump, uh, steam jump water drain. These add-on pressure chambers will optimize your steam jump. Let's actually get that. Because then, well, we'll, we'll need a lot less water per, per jump. Oh, and dear. that's going to be important later on, I presume. Find my way. Actually. Okay. Yeah. You can also you can also use the steam jump to damage blocks above you, but well, of course, not the best way to uh, go mining using your head. Mario is a lot better at that. Bonk. No, I oh. think he actually uses. Actually, given his jumping animation, I think he actually uses his fist to hit the um. It hit the block. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it's just funny to think he just head he just head butts every block he gets. Yeah. It, yeah. It is. Oh dear. Uh, Rob, uh, allow me to show you how to do a bonk properly. This is how you bonk a captain. They can't damage those blocks. But they can arc shots over them. There we go. Okay. Uh, break that. Grab that. Yeah, you, you can see how those enemies can become a problem later, not just because of well, them being able to damage and hurt us. Hmm. Okay, let's actually start digging deeper again. Um, have you been chewing? Ooh. Well, are you playing Terraria and other games uh, that it makes you dig? Yep. I can say a lot of enemies are damn dangerous because of cramped spaces. Yep. Uh, then you have the enemies that are more dangerous when they're in open spaces. Like bats. Yep. Especially the nuisances we've been having to deal with in Blast Brigade. Yeah, dude, that, those ones I do kind of respect, but they made them more than just poke, you fall down and die. Yeah, which is I, well, that, what they, what bad enemies typically are. Yeah, just cheap shot, those like, they have no health, no damage. All that they can do is just... Boop, boop, just boop, you off a cliff. Okay, small hall. Yeah, yeah, let's actually get re repaired now. Just ten coins. Cheap enough. Okay. Now, this time we're actually going to go digging down deeper. I do like that the longer we're down, and the more our lantern burns out, the smaller the radius of the light becomes. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. There's some silver. Okay. And yeah, now we have to deal with these spikes as well being around. 
Oh, they're here. Um, yeah. I don't know if there are any living turtles, not even horns, but I think there actually were some ancient turtles with horns. Right, yeah. remember that? Right? There was even, I forgot its name, an ancient turtle that caused such a ruckus with paleontologists when they fought. They found an ankylosaurus that survived the mass extinction. They all realized, oh no, it's a turtle with a club tail. Okay, now we've got a bit of a problem because there's no easy way back now. Good thing that I bought these. Uh, ladders though so we should oh. be able to just get a, a okay, not there okay uh, so, so now you can destroy the tower traps why did I, did I get a hiccup from doing water okay, no digging underneath that oh wait uh, yeah. you don't want that we can't get oh. it. It's in hard rock or bedrock or whatever they call it. Even the boulders can't break them. Give me a rum, some dynamite, and we get through it. Yeah, that's probably what we'll be needed to get through it. But we don't have access to that yet. Cannons? Sadly, no either. I would say yes for C4, but I don't know, now it's on the on shore. There we and also we did have you or the captain near C4. Well C4 is generally a very safe explosive since it can only be set off with a detonator, I believe. So yeah. yeah. If you see a show and someone shoots C4 to make it explode, they're pulling that out of their ass. There I I do remember, I mean, C4 itself, like, I think some people have even, like, in the military have used it to, like, set up camp, like, throwing it at their campfires and show, say it does nothing. You still don't want to brief that, but, you know, by itself it does nothing. Yeah. But right. I do remember that if, if... You don't really have to mess with the C4 so much as you have to mess with the detonator itself. Yeah. So, don't mess up the detonator. Yeah, pretty much. That's like a wise thing to live by? Yeah, just don't put it in your pocket or and go sit on it, stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, not the... Also, there's a difference between a breaching charge and C4. This one might... This one seems to come out of nowhere, but I just gotta remember Achievement Hunter and also, I think, the Russian Badger's video on uh, Tom Clancy. Uh, Tom Clancy's uh, Vegas. No, yeah, Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Yeah. Where he shows, like, there's breaching charge for opening doors with a bang, and there's C4! We're blowing shit up, which you really don't want to be anywhere near C4. Yeah. With yeah. breaching charges, I believe it's more that the, the force gets well, forced into a specific direction. Yeah, it basically means that the explosion is concentrated into the direction of like the door or the lock. Basically where you place it so that it can blow off the like the door, something like that. Yeah. And it can also, like, if there's somebody nearby, it can also hit them because, you know, force of an explosion is, you know, the force of an explosion. Yeah. Small as it is. C C4 is more fuck everything in this general surrounding. Yeah. I'm getting ideas from this. I'm afraid. Okay, let's sell some of this. Okay, we need to ten about to get to the next one, or next level. Are you laughing, Rob? No, uh, actually, yes, I am laughing, but I am laughing because I found out the that apparently 
think I'm, I'm just gonna put it on a couple of... I'm just gonna put this and... Mostly just because this is like... Okay. Apparently these are the popcorn buckets for the Deadpool and Wolverine movies. For the Deadpool and Wolverine movie. Okay. I'll probably see that eventually. Yes, yeah. well, it's <laughs> it. I presume half the movie is going to be like Wolverine trying to kill Wade. More than likely. Uh. Also, my toxic trade is being productive for twenty minutes and then giving myself a two-hour break. Wait, what? AKA a balanced work li work life ratio. Yep. Actually, in a copy image. I think I put it on the memes, but I might have forgotten. No, I did not. Memes? Oh, I'm not checked that enough. Damn, what? I'm bad at checking these ones. That's gonna be the trick here. I see. What my boulders balls is that? Uh, you mean the popcorn buckets? Those are not popcorn buckets, those are abominations! <laughs> yeah, the thing is they know what they're doing here. It's not like the Dune popcorn buckets where they made it so that it looks like the giant uh, worm and nobody saw it through. Here they just like... It's fucking Deadpool, so this makes way too much sense. Oh, bloody... I, I don't like them all. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna ask uh, uh, you both this. It's about Wolverine. Mm -hmm. I don't think this looks more like an owl. <laughs> okay, because of the really? big sideburns. Yeah, they can kind of do to the mask and the nose guard thing. And the vocal one they just, they just add to it more. So Wolverine should have been Owlman. Yeah, except He's he has claws. Suit. But Owlbear? Owlman. Oh, I would call Owlbear. I think we all know how dangerous an Owlbear is. Yeah. Or at least anyone with her decent understanding of D&D, or who has seen a D&D movie. Still need to watch yeah. that myself, but it, <laughs> things of, that show up in that, of course, get leaked out by people who've already watched it. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'll fight about owlbears. They use it her to a different design. Yeah. yeah. The first design... How to say this? It was very different from how Albers are today. Much uh, worse or much better? It was actually horrible. It did not look like either of the animal. It was a giant ground slot with a drooping nose. <laughs> okay. And I mean nose, it was not a big, it was just a flappy skin. And they decided, let's call that ground slot a owl bear. And someone at the design department got fired that day. Yeah. It did still wipe a lot of players though. But yeah, I feel I'm kinda glad that we designed it. For so, yeah, again, I described possibly the owl bear from first or second edition. I'm working with edition the appeared in first. Oh yeah, if you look up my videos about the history of owl bears, you probably will find a video showing that. Uh, it was ugly. Uh, yeah, we're really going to need explosives to break through those or something. And yeah, we can probably do one of the one of the uh, smaller caves that we found. Oops. But for now, let's keep going downwards because we're almost oh, at have... this cave. Oh, my God! I thought that thing was going to break through. 
Just too late on these. Okay. Oh, well, I, I think we're going to get whatever we need to break through these then. Uh oh. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, every time we hit one of these small ones, they will walk away from us. So they won't just continue on to well, just walk into us. Okay. Hello. Alright. I also kind of like the detail that you walk away from after you hit them for that. It kind of makes sense. Yeah, they just got hit in the freaking face. Of course they're going to turn around. Looks like yeah. you need to find just, three switches or something. Just don't, just don't do that to a honey badger. Yeah, the honey badger don't care. They will fuck you up. Yeah. So it, or in this case, if it doesn't die from the first blow, run. Actually, yeah. you anything. Don't attack it. You stay away from it to begin with. Yeah. Is anything hidden in this? Nope. Okay. We need oh, to break nice that block. Evil problem. idea. So. You sting. A pack of honey badgers to help you exercise in running. Yep. Right. There. Okay, was half expecting there to be something hidden here. Okay, and now that thing is falling down. And now it's going to go for a swim. Will it actually die in there, or...? No, it just doesn't give a crap about water. Uh, Captain? Take a look at it, I think, again. Yeah, it's it's undead. Or something between metal or undead. Unmetal? Yeah, so it's already you can't drown. Yeah, maybe it would just rust on the spot or something. Okay, let's see what's needed here. Also I see nothing up there. Okay. There. And let's see. Just keep an, keep an eye on the water level. It in this one oh. is really is very big, but you can see that it does move down a little bit. Yeah. So I you would have it. to waste quite a few of these steam jumps to empty this out. <laughs> you could potentially screw yourself over that way, unless it refills. Okay. Just one more. Okay. And well, that's obviously going to be this way. Oh, um, but why am I having that song stuck in my head now? <laughs> Which one this Bad time? Luck. All the way. Uh, yeah, second guy uh, fan song. Uh, is that a whale? Uh, some sort of fish, perhaps. Captain! Oh, oh, lobo. Captain, what species do whales belong to? Yes, yes, mammal, but still something in the water. You don't recognize the bodies in the water. SCP joke, for once. <laughs> Those are rare times. Uh, uh, I already oh, know nice. which SCP will be your kryptonite. Which one then? But beside the water one, yes. the tomatoes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. And we now have a drill. Oh, bloody heck. Actually, yeah. I I would never want you to experience the water one. Like, that would make you paranoid of a glass of water. For good reasons. 
Okay. But this drill does use water, so we'll have to be careful with it. Wait. Wait, hold on, hold on. Alright, it's steam powered closer with water. Just water powered drill does sound a bit uh, you know. Ooh. Strange. Wait, wait, hold up. Uh, it's it's not called uh, <laughs> oil world. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> um, it's left shoulder it's to switch better, between. It's it's better <clears throat> fuel water <clears throat> powder than what the uh, Pixar did. <clears throat> they use coals <clears throat> to fuel the, the hand drills. Yeah. <clears throat> Next one is quite close. We can probably get to that. Yeah. One plane. There we go. Dolomite. Okay, what do we have here? Just some water. Okay. to dig through. <clears throat> God damn it. <laughs> Did not mean to put down a lamp. Oh, that's what I have. What do you mean you were said ready that tin? No. Yeah. yeah. Left, sh left shoulder for pickaxe and drill. Right for lamps and ladders. The old world. Do you see that on the wall by the pipe? You mean the skeleton? Yeah, with... He got burned with two giant yugs of booze? <laughs> of course, the perfect way for any alcoholic to die. Into the, the ah, so you got into the old world. Thank you, treacherous place. You cleared out the old pneumatic. Uh, say that again. Pneumatic. The P is silence. You cleared out the old pneumatic tube too. More reliable than those glowing watcher mechanical. Watcher my shit. No. No. Let's go with that. Watch me call Watch it. Watch call it! There we go! Now I realize what I was supposed to say. Take care with, with I care what exploring down there, though. Shiners can be quite dangerous. That's what he meant by shiners. Not really the best place for my... Not really the best place for the mine. Not sure where you find a deposit, I guess. Well, you have it. Uh, what did you do? Uh, we just dug into a place called the Old World and found a <laughs> the, the skeleton of an alcoholic embedded in the wall. Good job. Yeah. Are you sure why we know he's alcoholic? I guess they buried him with, uh, or, or him, her, whatever, with whatever, <laughs> with what they <laughs> treasured most. Whoa, that drill looks really powerful. Enough to break through tough soil. You think that's what Joe wants you to do? Break through to old world below the mine. Bet there's riches down there. Nothing but shiners there. I don't think, I don't think they have any notion of valuable rock. This could mean a gold rush for Tumbleton. Speaking of gold, get us ours. 
And we've got a new character, <laughs> Biff. What in the name of Odin's beard? What happened this time? A uh, new bot uh, joined the uh, town. <clears throat> Never m was much for company, old Joe. Spent all his time in the mine the last few years. Never brought up much, though. Uh, like there were things... Uh, like there were things got his attention more than Precious Rock down there. To explain why there's so much left as well. And... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Discount custom. Where's the welcome wagon, partner? If it's back, yeha. I haven't been back here since I was a young man. Hard times behind us now, though. What is you've brought a bit of a bit of a renaissance with you, Sonny? Biff Beacon goes wherever the, there's dollars at. And yeah, here is where we get the next stage of upgrades. Okay, let's get this silver pickaxe. Okay. A liquid silver core will give that swing some extra hefts. I'm not sure if having liquid in a pickaxe would be a good idea. Oh, uh, I just realized something you do definitely don't want in a pickaxe in liquid form. Nitrogen. Nitroglycerin. Uh, no, I should probably say this, people. If you see dynamite in a box that's very, very old, don't touch it! Yeah. Because that stuff gets unstable as it gets old. Yeah, for a reason! Here's the thing, people. Dynamite, when it gets old, very old, it will sweat. Sweat nitroglycerin. So, basically, if it help us take and make one wrong way move, it will explode. Boom. Yeah, without being lit. It will explode. You simply fall. Way What in. <laughs> well, they were waving it around and they exploded. <laughs> You just kill Gollum? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Perfect timing on that. Well, I, I was surprised, surprised we got to see. Is that what uh, remains of the uh, humans? Yep. That's what their bots call shiners. Moon shiners. So I they... get it. <laughs> you tell me, then. He, he Mr. Survives were illegal alcohol makers? Yep. Yeah, they were, well, they just all decided to uh, fuck it, the world is ending, we're bruising it up. Explains to them skeleton with the eye and the uh, booze yugs. <laughs> you were going, you were going to say with giant jugs for a second and correct it then, huh? Yeah, for you realize if I say it like that, they would be taken out of context. The hell! <sighs> it's there's something over on that side. You were close to uh, cross yourself there. I don't know if it's an instant kill. But yeah, let's try and avoid. <laughs> let's try to avoid a, just a solid rock headache. Uh, let's see. Oh, but I hope I expect them to just fall down there. Nope. Let's see. This one needs to go down one, uh, and that one needs up. to go down as well. Actually, no, they both need to go down too. Look up, Captain. There's something else up there. Something okay. explosive. Yeah, that's in the background. Oh, all right. Poof. Uh, 
Okay. Small mistake. Oh, I can't. Okay, I should have broken these first. So now the path is blocked. Will it stay that way? No, it resets. Okay. So we do get another chance. Thank goodness. Maybe. Okay, for this, I'm pulling out the drill for a bit. Two seconds, I gotta do a thing. Okay. All right. This game isn't too long, so I think we will probably finish it in two streams. Also, before anything else, remove these two. There we go. One more. Okay. I don't remember how long the second game is, but it should probably be of equal, or probably a bit longer. Okay. And our light burnt out during all of that. Who's snoring? And yeah. I guess those babies of TNT are accurate since, well, they start to blow up the moment you get close. Okay. And this stuff over to Dorothy. Okay. No new upgrades, but we do have a good amount of money to spend. Let's see. Plus four ground damage. The drill master three thousand is a drill head with advanced rage grooves to help uh, shuffle harder dirt. Okay, having this be stronger will well use up less of our water. Uh, the drilltron is the latest and greatest in drill head technology. Okay, can't afford it though. And oh, we <laughs> had. I had just enough money to get that one, because we just have zero. Okay. I got the mustache for the ice cream out there. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you think about it, you look like exactly poor. Yeah. Oh. You, you have me on Roma's friends. <laughs> no valuable on the money. There we go. I think he heard me. Yeah, I heard you. I just chose not to. Okay, <laughs> I, I think I think the water actually refilled. Okay. Alright. Oh, nice. Um. Oh. Uh. Wait. There's no coming from the barrel. Hmm. Okay, I wonder what the point of no return with these things is. Um, who's sleeping inside of a crate of TNT? Well, it's a barrel, but you know, same difference given it's an explosive and it's about to burst, I think. Wait, is Ow. it the place? Okay, I thought we actually lost a bit longer. Who okay, keeps he's snoring? Just... Yeah, there's more of them around. Where they can Suddenly the game turns into ASMR. <laughs> I'd be surprised if Rom can sleep through that sound. What was that called? A lot of people joke, and apparently there's been earthquakes where I was just literally so out of it I didn't notice. <laughs> okay. No, I'm thinking back. He can't see yeah. to anything. Okay, I I got the gist of what you said there, but you got you went robotic for a bit, <laughs> so it just sounds like you were falling asleep. 
me or him? You. I said. I, I, I said I take that back. Chocolate tight, really? Because you threw anything. Yep. Still need to break one of these to get through. Time to head back up. Probably should get one of those uh, teleporters. Them Chinese don't scare us, no sir. I probably should get one of those teleporters just in case I get myself stuck somewhere. And also, let's heal up. Hmm. So you don't have any. Now you have this. Okay, let's let's try and save up for that. And I kind of want to test something a bit here. Uh oh. Okay. There. Okay. Will that refill once I go up here? Yes, it does. Okay. So, when there's puddles of water like that, we can just make uh, launch points around them. Yeah. For easier, Maybe for getting up easier. This way, you probably should not into them. Yeah, just in absolute case, they can be emptied out. Similar to like in Dredge, you don't want to completely empty a spot because it'll make it harder to. Well, for them to respawn, even though I basically murdered every fishing spot I found in that game. Until I figured that out. Galena. Okay. But they did tell you it early on, yet you did anyway. I'm just going to go around that. Okay. There. Chocolo. Tight? Yep. I guess it's what. I guess it's a metal that tastes like chocolate to uh, robots. <laughs> you mean chocolate metal? Yep. Uh, chocolate. Ro that sounds almost like cannibalism or something. Only. Unless they eat robot chickens. No, I think they'd rather watch that. What a right to show. <laughs> I've I, seen I, some I, clips. I continue to be... Ow. I continue to be amused whenever I dis rediscover that it's actually still ongoing. Yeah, I've seen some bit of it and I... I don't know what to think of it. Yeah, it... I definitely appreciate the work that they put in with it being stop motion and such, but some of the jokes do fall short. But then the whole thing with it is to basically just throw a ton of ew, a ton of jokes out, and at least some of them will land. Yeah, but many of them fall short or just flat or falls off a cliff. Yeah, I'm well, now we know what happens when you get crushed. <laughs> it's an instant death. Can't always go the way you plan it, I guess. Frank was able to put you back together, though. I had to order new parts and all, too. Weren't cheap, neither. He charged you a bit of the re reassembly fee. Okay, well, now we know, and yeah, yada yada, knowing is off the battle. Okay. First step, though. Not empty it. Okay. Okay, and our stuff is still back where we dropped it. Damn you, heal your be and grab some water. Yes, you knew what you did. 
Okay, and if we get first, it just gets put in the back on the top of the block that first us. There. There. Okay. Now then. Let's push around here a bit. Gold. Okay. I'm gonna take gold. There. Yep, no room for that. Okay, this should be a good enough haul to get us to the next level with the store. Okay. Ah, oh, my throat is still full for the earlier voice acting. Yeah, the first voice was definitely a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh. <clears throat> Turn all of this in. And yeah, we can get the new pickaxe. Gigantic pouch and water seal. Okay. Let's see. I might get out of that later. Okay, gigantic pouch, plus one inventory again. Uh, this takes priority. And okay, plus 50% water from pools. A sealing solution so you don't and lose a drop of the water you find. Okay. Expensive in the orbs. But should still be really useful. Okay, question. So I was confused on this. Is steam powered environmental friendly? Uh, it is generally, yeah. The, the, the funny thing is, despite all of the technological advancements since the steam era and such, most product, most ways of producing energy are still just steam powered, but with extra steps, like nuclear or solar. Both of those generally are well, about turning water into steam and running that through a turbine. And with that, producing the actual energy. You tell me we are steam, still in a steam-powered age. Yep. So technically, all modern technology is steampunk. Because it's run, powered by steam-powered energy. Or steam-produced energy. Are you tell me my computer is steam-powered? <laughs> technically. Well, where's, where, where's the water? Well, if it's water cooled. No, we're not going there. On those horror stories from a certain game that somehow disabled the security features in a water cooler in a PC and made it boil. <laughs> that sounds more like it just completely overheated the thing. Oh no! New World did that. It's so Amazon. Amazon made a game oh, so that. poorly optimized that it did this. He actually disabled some water cooler securities. I think about it. Is that game I have? Oh shit! I gotta. gotta put... it's, it's still a thing. Apparently, they recently made a new expansion. Yes, I think like the thumbnail was you know rather. Questioning why? You knew what the... Okay. New place. Yeah. Okay. Lucky there. Hmm. Guess we'll have to continue going down and hope there's a way up again somewhere. I'll take that. Um. Uh, <laughs> oh, open bra. I think that's supposed to be say open bar, seeing as what it's filled with. Hey, look, there's the guy that's unconscious. 
and uh, that's him vaporized. <laughs> also, I got so bored and found out that apparently... Okay, so I have the Attack on Titan 2 game. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. I like it. Anyways, I have it and the final battle upgrade DLC, whatever. Apparently it's got co-op on it. I just found uh -oh. that out. Okay. Uh-oh. I, I know what this is going. Roll? You're about to uh, beg the captain to put it on the multiplayer? Maybe. Yeah. I'll At least it. test it to see if we can pull it off. Yeah, we, we've just had shit luck with all of the games we've tried to stream to, uh, together, huh? Yeah. But, Captain? Ow. Don't eat it. <laughs> don't eat the shroom. I thought you were gonna say don't eat the TNT. Yep. Okay, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and goodbye, I guess. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. And um, actually, that's a good advice from your set. Don't eat the TNT. Yeah. It, you can use nitroglycerin for medicine in very specific tiny dosage, but it's harmless. Yeah. Well, I guess we won't be eating it, but we will be using it. Oh, I'm brought. Yeah, that, it was meant to be a funny joke that oh, we keep it's an open bar, we keep booze in the nuclear missile. But then we spelled it, made an accidental lewd uh, one. There we go. Yep. <laughs> okay, guess he was tired of getting, of just being stuck in there. Okay. Any secret areas around here? Oh, wrong button. Oh, well. There. Okay, so now we get to play with explosives as well. Don't play with explosives, people. Don't play with it. It may be safe to do that in games, except for your character. But don't do that in real life. Yeah. Okay. Now, how do we get out of here? As long as we don't hit these, they can return back to sort of stability. So, we do that out. Okay. I was hoping that it would blow a hole in the ceiling above it to let us out, but... Oh well. I thought it was Galena? Yep. Oh well, good thing that I brought these. Do the ladder stay? Yep. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. I may have to call in a BRB for a bit, because, uh, yeah, nature's starting to have a bit of an effect again. It's starting to complain. Ah, uh, call nature. There. Yeah, it ain't bird song that's calling. <clears throat> okay, let's hand all of this in. But, uh, the more of this stuff you dig up, the more certain I get. Your uncle placed it there for you to find. Like a trail of breadcrumbs for you to follow. And you're ready for something. Okay. Anything new? I haven't seen a shiner up top since war times. The ranged and dangerous they are, thoroughly unpredictable. Not unlike yes, most uh... of my patrons. I mean, you run a saloon, you gotta expect bar fights. Yeah. Like a back roll! 
the scarce trace of the shiners left up here. I thought Cranky, I thought Drakir was doing Cranky. Yep, yep, my bad. You smooth people. I just need to get myself ready and... Ow! Not you! <laughs> Wrong target. Get in my way! We're not trying to bomb the captain! <laughs> friendly fire, friendly fire. <laughs> friendly bunkering! Uh, Ooh, la. Uh, <laughs> what? Hang friendly on. bonking. Uh, oh, full! <laughs> Even Rome disliked that one! Right, let's see him. Use me some water first. Yeah. See what he made? It looks like nowadays it's hard to share your uncle's beliefs. Because the shyness had part in the birth of the red. Uh, that the shyness had part in the birth of the first steam box. It true. What is were they capable of back then? What do you have then? Okay. Let's refill that. So, yeah, Cranky is going to be where we refill our stuff now. Um. Hmm. I'm sure. Actually, let's get this thing. Because we're going to need to fight stuff more. Yep. Left with a single freaking cent. Oop. That strange old miner that you know, dug here before you. He always ordered some strange stuff. Useless things like twisted copper tubes and such nonsense. Okay. Let's... Hmm. As long as we don't use too much, I guess we can go without the water seal for a while. And should wait, go wait, for the on. upgrades. Hold up. Okay, here's the thing, people. Don't make a pickaxe made out of gold. Yeah, anyone yeah. who's ever played Minecraft will know that's not the best idea. She learned that from a cartoon. Uh, if I see if I remember it. Uh, I forgot the character's first name, but I remember the last name. Uh, gold pants? Or something? Gold member? No, that's yeah, a gold movie. pants! <laughs> Not gold member! And also don't, gold. also don't, don't turn your, uh, your member into gold. Yeah. yeah. Don't do that either. I think gold poisoning is a thing. Yeah. The thing is, I, I, usually people would like, this would be, like, if anybody had faith in human, in the human race, this would be like, a sort of, obviously thing, but I don't have any, any sort of faith in humanity. Yeah. Just take a look at uh, the Darwin Awards and such, and just how people managed to remove themselves from the gene pool. Not just yeah. kill themselves, but just there's just cases of people being stupid, getting their entire dick ripped off because they just had a uh, hey y'all, this would be fun idea. Rip oh, blood, heck. in oh, two God, ways. It just, just reminded me of some of a of a thing that uh, happened like years ago. Okay, so this was actually explained and. Remember when, remember Rooster Teeth, they had a podcast? Yeah, I remember them. Uh, well, one story they mentioned was that a guy in China, basically, he, he, his girlfriend, okay, so this guy in China, his girlfriend dumped him, and he was depressed and angry, and for that reason, he cut off his own dick. And, and then he's even realized, more depressed. And then realized, oh, shit. So he went to he, he went to the hospital. You you want to know how he went to the hospital? With his dick he in his a, hands. No, he went to the hospital <laughs> on a bicycle after cutting off his dick. And then 
basically went to the hospital. It's like, can you reattach my dick? And it's like, sure, we can reattach your dick in a few minutes if you had it with you because he fucking forgot it at his house. And it's so, like, he's, he 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 wasn't even dick for brains. He was just neither. He had no dick and no brains. No, it gets fucking worse. So he gets on the bicycle again and pedals all the way back to his house just to grab the just to grab his dick pedals back to the fucking hospital and then they tell him nah it's too late we can't reattach it yeah <laughs> you can reattach limbs all that but you need to be quick as heck yeah it's like you gotta imagine somebody just like being an outsider looking into this was like is that guy bleeding from his crotch on a bicycle? Uh, I'm impressed he was able to do that since... Ow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm also now reminded of uh, what the fuck is wrong with you story where a dude shoved a thermos full of cocaine up his ass and in an attempt to escape the police, he decided to use a bicycle. Oh. It didn't work. But at least she got to enjoy it. Mercy <laughs> is still out <laughs> of jail. Yeah. Uh, I just knew uh, there was supposed to be fun in the whole world. Go ahead. Uh, no, I'm just gonna leave right now. I am tired, sleepy, and I gotta take my brother out for class, even though I don't really want to go <laughs> take him out. And he woke up ill, so I'm not even sure if he's up for it. He just says he's up for it. Okay, uh, good luck with that, Rom. Sounds like you may oh. need it. Yeah, best yeah. of luck with that. Thanks. I'm just gonna finish lunch and then pass out on my bed for a bit because it's cold. Also, one last shit post that I also posted on the memes channel. Oh. It took so many years to develop effective birth control for men, but I'm so glad the Cybertruck finally arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest here. If you see someone driving a Cybertruck, you know they're not going to make any good decisions. Yeah. Uh, I heard I heard something that all of the fucking things are getting recalled again. Pretty or much. Something. Uh. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. See ya. Good safe. luck. Good luck. Uh, I I'm pretty sure if you just ran a, uh, just any sort of Hot Wheels cars through just an enlarging machine or something, it would still be more roadworthy than a fucking Cybertruck. Uh, th there's a reason people are calling the thing Cyberstuck. Oh dear. Uh, oh, it's right. I think the sh show was maybe called, not Gold Pass, but Gold Button? Eh, may have been a Swedish translation of the names. Doesn't sound familiar to me in any way. Yeah, but there was some boy traveling around and got stuck with some dwarves and stuck into mine with them. But he did an inside the revolution among the dwarves. And many dwarves agreed that why the heck are we mining for gold with golden pickaxes that keep getting bent? This is a good point. And that's yeah. how I learned that, oh, gold is not as useful as a uh, Kids fought like. Surprise people when kids see golden armor, they think, oh, gold is awesome, gold is strong. No. Yeah. No. It's mine something that pick needs to be made out of something harder, which is why they're generally made of like steel and such. Even then, I, yeah. I don't even know if they actually more mine the ore itself or just dig around it to get it out. Uh, they don't there, there are many different me methods, like you can get them from uh, shimmering, uh, are you saying western, shimmering through a uh, silk or something it's called? It's sifting? Through water? Or you can also mine it for rock with a mining pick. <clears throat> but, yeah, again, why did Vosti not uh, complain earlier about golden mine picks is beyond me. You would feel like that's a very dwarven thing, they will, they will know. A gold is valuable, but is useless as a mining pick. I hope get the feeling they were just too stubborn to admit it until someone pointed it out. <laughs> yeah, hmm. probably. Anyways, 
Yeah. Back to this. Uh, they're not so different from us, those shiners. Okay. I was, I'm kind of surprised they uh, didn't give her a massive pair of headlights, if you know what I mean. Uh... He, they're still large, that. but they, they don't look as big as they could have made them. Look at her smaller model. Yeah, <laughs> okay, there she does look a lot more chesty. Also, Rusty is just at eye <laughs> level with those things. <laughs> I, I would not be surprised if they had to adjust that for some censorship or something. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Okay, now this is just amusing me way too much. Just Rusty <laughs> enjoying the show. But he's uh, anyways. Actually, if you look at Rusty's face, it doesn't it kind of look all the like ring dangle, whatever that the lizard was called. Uh, I remember. I know which one you're you, know, you mean, but I'm forgetting their name. I think it was. Ringo? Uh, Ringo might be... I, I don't know if he was a voice for Johnny Depp. Of course he was a voice for Johnny Depp. Yeah, he does have a bit of a resemblance to just your standard uh, cowboy with the hat and uh, the ugly mug. Probably means to emulate Eastwood a bit. I think Eastwood did appear in the movie. Yeah. Uh, Driving a golf car. Yep. Okay, that's a hazardous way to get up now, so... Uh, uh, oh, actually, uh, I remember something I heard recently. Hmm? That is kind of related to... This attached glimpse. Hmm? Apparently, a kid got attacked by a bull shark. Uh, yeah. It ripped off his arm. However, his uncle swam out, wrestled the shark, and got the arm back. Yeah, I think I've and heard were, of that one. And they were able to take the arm with the kid to the hospital and then reattached it in time. Well, he's just the hero of the, uh, the schoolyard for the rest of his life. Yeah. But it, we had earlier a Darwin Award, but what we call this? Hero Award? Cool. Not even sure, but something like that, probably. Yeah, but let's be honest. I still feel sort of keen for that to happen to them. I'm glad yeah. we able to reattach it, but... The uncle! I applaud the bravery! To wrestle a bull shark and pull it out from its stomach. Yeah. Oh, the it was just. Yep. I don't know where they almost. If that one was in the stomach or just in the mouth. Probably the mouth. But still, he wrestled the damn thing. That. On that, uh, sharks tend to have a bit of a bad rap when it comes to things, but due to movies like Jaws and such. In general, yeah. they don't fuck with humans, unless, well, they confuse humans for something else. Like yeah. uh, the, the someone in a black diving suit and such, or scuba suit, they, <laughs> there's a good chance they might think you're a seal. Yeah. Howard, that's more with great ones in the audio. Howard! Bone sharks and tiger sharks are the ones, if I remember, are more likely to intentionally attack a person. If I'm still not sure how true that info is for when I was reading that, they did see they said that the great ones usually don't attack people, they just will make mistake. But bull sharks and tiger sharks have been known to actually have man eaters. Okay. And they are apparently also way more aggressive than a way great white. Yep. Okay. Again, depending how outdated that info is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, there's often times where people think that we've already that we already know all there is to know about this or that. 
only for new info to come up later to potentially disprove the entirety or a good part of it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. Like, I really discovered a new species of orca. And I heard that I I heard that there's been uh, trials with a new. Uh, not sure if it's a vaccination or more treatment, but either way, that I've heard that there's good news with an H, you know, with one of those for HIV. Nice. I, I, I hope we do get some good development with the good medicine. Yeah. Huge tank, hard armor. Okay. Let's see, I probably should get this. Because things are getting a bit tougher. And it also heals us. Nice. Always nice when a game heals you when you upgrade your health. Very nice. And we even have enough to get the gold pickaxe. Okay. Durable is the best is the word best used to describe this here pick. Okay. 350 and five oh. orbs. Oh, love of all my brain. That. I read durable, but when you spoke it, my brain tossed it to verbal. <laughs> As in uh, the uh, animal. A gerbil. Gerbil, yes, I mean, I mean gerbil. My brain heard gerbil. Also, uh, the second... Uh... <laughs> The second plank on this uh, thing here. El Makino! <laughs> oh! I am a water. Yeah. It was a mistake that was earlier. I will repeat that. Yeah. I, so, I think I really need to practice back a bit so I don't do that. I, when I imagine the voices in my head, that's fine. But when I try to actually say them, and here's the pe thing, people: if you want to do, be good with accents, practice. Yeah. Otherwise, you will wreck your fruit, or you will think you sound authentic, mirror your is socially off, or may yeah. end up being sounding like a fool, or accidentally offending someone. This is why I apologize earlier, but at least Rome's in the muse, but yeah. When I try to do an accent, I do, I will apologize if it comes off a bad. I like, I haven't had much practice and I am trying to sound respectful. Yeah. Even if that, hmm. just don't expect miracles from me. It may come off as bad. But I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm trying to make it sound good. God damn it, that crushed fr that whatever that was. That will burn it. There. And hello. Um. Ow. <coughs> okay, I can just hate them. Okay. I hate them. I expect something. Eh. Hello? Um, why? Um, Captain? Yeah, now we have to deal with acid. Nuclear acid? I can't say if it's nuclear or not. We don't want to get touched by it. That's the one thing I do know. It, it, it's on the barrels. Fill. Yep, and something here. Zoe sites. Okay. Okay. Pardon. Yeah, it's definitely toxic waste. As if yeah. Has that thing. Or an old variant of toxic nope. waste. Oh, wait, is that a nuclear symbol? Yeah, that's a radiation symbol. Alright. 
so maybe a case of potato potato, but bad all the same. And they just plain melt. <laughs> okay. The Wicked Booze Witch of the West, I guess. And that was one of the smaller ones blowing up a bigger one. Okay. And the heart's gone. And so is that one. There. Okay. Hmm. I was pretty sure that there were side stuff you could find every so often at the well, at the sides of the mine, but I'm guessing that's more a uh, I'm guessing that's more a thing in the sequel. Biotide. I get the feeling if I have that fall, it's going to blow up immediately. Yep. Yes. Okay, at least there's a path back now. Wait. It made the oh. room burn. Uh, oh, I think, we, I think there's not... something behind it. All right. Also, we should probably not destroy these. Now yeah. that we can bounce on them. There we go. From her. Okay, Dorothy, you're making progress. Let's see. Another decent hole like that and a half, and we can get to the next level. Let's see. Hmm. Let's get this one. Actually. That's okay. Just up uh, yeah, these over here, for which we don't need we don't need uh, orbs for those. So let's get repaired. Okay. Hmm. If I remember correctly, there is a third region in this game. Oh, okay, nice. You can't fully drain them, even if you wanted to. Okay, that's good. This makes sense. It, it's below his body, so he can't... <laughs> it doesn't reach high enough to get absorbed. I'm going to keep avoiding that one. Just more for just avoiding unnecessary damage. I should have used a teleport to go down. <laughs> I just realized. Oh well. It's, there's quite a bit um, undug here. Uh, tank. There's a tank there. Yep. Don't think it'll be of much use to anyone though. A bunch of TNT in the ceiling here. Hmm. Okay, now we can grab this. There we go. Big water supply. Okay. That. Okay. The reason I did that is because, well, now we can actually go back up this way instead of having to find another way around. Okay. Boing. Well. <laughs> Just dropping in on the party. Okay. 
I think one of the throwers just <laughs> threw it bottled just as we left there. Okay. Now, if one of your upgrades was less than 400, I believe. There we go. Oh, when he think his uh, sound effect is kind of annoying. Yeah, it's a bit much for it, <laughs> it to just restart with every line. Oh, still it's the... Oh. Okay, <laughs> Great. her interaction box was a bit big there. Okay, this would... <laughs> Beat does not like us. We need to get another upgrade with the damage. You. Not having that happen again. Not anything and hard. You need a hard help. Okay. There you go. Oh, and you now we get to deal with the assets. Oh dear. I wanted to throw it in the pit with the guy. Oh, hello. What do we have here? Obsidian? Yeah. <laughs> Probably the first boss they've had in... ever. Okay. Ah, I see. Even ow. I was kind of hoping they'd blow themselves up. Okay. I think Rusty's processor is going to be a bit shook up after this, if they even have a, a processor in there. There we go. More of that. I probably missed a ton of those. There. Oh, hello. I'll take that. What the heck is that Sangwood saying? Tunnel closed. It's supposed to say closed. <laughs> but it said it's <laughs> it says close us. Uh, oh dear. Okay. Okay. And there we go. I'm going down. It's almost good door here. Open a window. Yep. Well, I guess he had enough of the bar. Okay, that's not done down yet. And yet, people, when the sun is down, I'm open the windows to your. Get the warm air out. We're getting some really valuable items now. There. I'm actually going to use one of these here to grab this. Okay. Five, a five dollar ladder for this gold. I'll take that trade. Okay, acid can't burn through the hard rock. Good to know. Hmm. 
Okay, I thought I would break into something there, but no. Let's see, can I... Oh, we can just... We can just about reach over a block. Okay. Uh, let's make a path here. Oh. Okay, and I think that's probably as much as we can carry with us for now without having to leave something behind. I think one of those barbecues is behind that mushroom. So I, I guess that's a grilled mushroom. Yeah, but there's a spot it was off the explosion, so... You blame me? Improved hydraulics. Mm -hmm. Pull that up. I don't really think we need to extend the, the life of our lamp that much. Okay. Let's grab that. Hmm. Oh, yeah. oh, you have to be able to the couch there. That's two, uh, okay, well, well, we can easily get 200. And let's see, minus 33 drill water drain. This will generate less friction, so we'll save some of that water. That would be good to get. So we need about 700 then. Not that. No. Okay. Hmm. We're gonna go on for a little bit more. We well, have yeah, soon to end the stream. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Oop. Oop. Something here. Three. Oop. The other one's already agitated. There. Yeah, don't run a road back into diamond like that. Yeah. Let's see. Why don't you run around with them, Lily? It's beyond me. Oh, they're called shiners, so I'm presuming <laughs> I'm presuming they're blood alcohol. If if you were to measure their uh, their yeah, the alcohol level in their blood, the the thing would just say yes. Personally, is we even just what the heck they made alcohol from? Mm. Can you make alcohol from mushrooms? I'm pretty sure as long as it can ferment, you can make uh, alcohol out of it. you him. What are you thinking of? Alcohol made of Zerustra main. <laughs> okay, I think that would be considered a war crime. <laughs> yeah! If you can see why I was a... If you can hear my concern, my tone, that I said that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh. Okay. They just keep blowing themselves up. That, I should have I should have timed that better. Okay. 
Not the biggest hole. Oop. But that should probably be enough. Yep. Enough to get me out of this hole. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe I should put that teleporter down here. Actually, I, I don't know. I'm going to type this out to some friends to see how they react. Oh. Careful. Okay. okay. I think I'll use the. Uh, <clears throat> I think I'll use the teleporter next time. Uh, not that way. Okay. Ring. Uh, it's relatively close, so... Hmm. Okay. Okay, we can get that pouch upgrade then, I think. Yep, there. Yeah, that should be more than plenty of, a, <laughs> of inventory space. Okay, nothing else that needs a refill. Um, nope. I keep accidentally pushing the <laughs> the stick up when I'm near him. Okay. I like that the game puts some of these teleporters around. So we don't have to go all the way back at So each pool, each single pool is good for two bars of water. But this game is making me thirsty. <laughs> okay, grab that. And I'm not how breaking the block the underneath taste? that asset. Hmm? How, how did the bug taste? <laughs> oh, sorry, the I mean, buggy how did the needs a patch. Are? Wait. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hmm. No. No. Best to destroy the those wherever I find enough. them. The bonk is not enough for this punishment. <laughs> Maybe the air horn. No. <laughs> I'm actually glad that the air hole is not as loud as we expected it to be. Yeah. Okay. There. There. Okay. There. Why would you do that? I, I, I want to get rid of these acid things so I don't need to risk going underneath them. But Jack, yeah, now you we remove the one that may, would make you fall into an acid bath, and it's worse. Oh, oh hello. A party down here. Let me kickstart it. Yep. <laughs> okay. He just freaking flew. There. Oh, hello. Something new. 
And there's something shiny? Oh, hmm. Okay, now I'm kind of curious. What if water hit... If What if acid hits water? Uh... Okay, it does not uh, turn into acid. I thought so it might. Could, uh, so you can make the acid uh, uh, water up there be purified? I don't think so. I think it's just plain pure acid. Okay, not from that way. Not from this way. And yeah, kind of wasted the full restore there, but... Oh, well... Okay, run. Hmm. Yep. Okay, just... <laughs> Okay, I'm guessing if we get if we manage to sneak up on them while they're sleeping, we do sort of a critical strike with an instant kill them. Maybe? Okay. Hmm. Okay, what is it? What is it with these out of reach? Uh... No ladders, no lamps, no teleporters. We are allowed to use dynamite here, though. Why is this here? Oh. That's why. <laughs> okay, you have permission to to use the goofy scream. It's a bit too late now, ain't it? Yeah. The, um <laughs> Do I even need to say the, or make the joke here? Even waiting in line to buy the physical copy. Yeah, they're, they're still waiting on Half-Life 3. Oh. Oh, that stings. But yeah, they had done... ...side things in the Half-Life universes, but... I wonder why yeah. they haven't done a Half-Life 3 yet. Uh, probably because at this point the expectations are just bigger than anything they could deliver. And I have heard some people tell that they tr with each of the previous Half-Lives, they basically did it with like a big change in uh, the gaming sphere as well, or on, ba on base of technology. And yeah, it... <laughs> There not having been enough of a technological jump in it uh, to put in a pro to justify a new Half-Life, but yeah, I, I just think at this point they know that whatever they put out, it would never live up to the hype, so they're just never going to make it. But, uh, they're trying to figure out the story for it, but they need Half-Life Alex, Alex, something yeah. for the VR. Okay, it's it's not steampunk, but it's steam punch. What the heck? Ow. Okay, so that's what we need to break the blocks across from here. Uh, hmm. Can we? Okay, we can. Hmm. How are we supposed to hit those, then? Um... Captain, look into the other room there. Down, down. Right there with all of the freaking TNT. Yeah, there's something else in there. Okay, I was kind of hoping for that to set off the TNT. Thank you. Okay, 17. Okay. Hello. So can I? Okay, it's only up 
or sideways. No uh, diagonals. Okay. I guess you be in good an area that makes you open it up as a shortcut. <clears throat> Maybe. But, yeah. Okay, no need for the BRB anyways, it seems, because we are close to the end of the stream. Oh, right, I almost forgot about that. Hmm. I guess I just got a bit too much into enjoying the game to consider stopping. Hmm. And that happens sometimes, until you feel that, Oh, I really need to go, I really need to go. Yeah. Situation. Okay, let's head back. Oh. Sounds like one of the Shiners took a swim in the acid. <laughs> okay, let's head up. Oop. Okay. Now you notice that. Uh, there. Uh, actually, I was saying to potentially use a teleporter, and I think this might just be the, the perfect little time to put one down. Okay. I'll just put it down over here. Yeah, not that. There. Okay. Rusty acting like he's freaking power. Uh, not not power. He man with that pose. <clears throat> At times, old Joe would be down in the mine for weeks. He must have gotten really deep down too. Once in a while, we thought he'd stay down there for good. Proved us right in the end, didn't he? Well, he did, yeah. Okay, turn it in. We'll be getting to the bottom of Old World soon. The end of the trail should be close. You see, beneath Old World, it'll be way too hot for any steam bot to dig. <laughs> yeah, because at some... The, the, the lower down you dig... Oops, swift pickaxe. The lower down you dig, the warmer it becomes because, well, you're getting closer and closer to the freaking planet's core. And, well, it wouldn't be good for a steam bot if all of their water just turned to steam instantly. Yeah, that sounds like... Boom! Okay. I'm not seeing a save icon, so I'm presuming it's already saved. Okay. Oh. Okay, if you get stuck, they do give you the option to self-destruct to respawn. Okay, that is nice. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, then. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that'll be SteamWorld Dig for today. So, yeah. let's end the game and go look for somewhere or someone to raid. So, remove the always on top. I'll need to remember to edit the clip later. <laughs> uh, what should I call it? Uh, <laughs> Rakia gets jump scared. <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> uh, that's hmm. what you meant. Okay. Yep. Uh, what is with? Uh, okay. Uh, why is that? A... Okay. All uh, right. Yeah. This steam will dig. I've got through the EA launcher or EA store or whatever. Yep. I only have like a, a handful of games on there, anyways. Uh. Okay. Let's see. Let me change the screen share so you can see as well. There and there. Uh, we've got uh, uh, we've got uh, <laughs> the great god of pizza who is playing Elden Ring. Frayne is playing Warhammer 40k Dark Tides. I should I should get back to that game again. I've heard that there's another crafting update planned or something because that is generally the biggest complaint people still have about Dark Tide is that uh, yeah the crafting system is not exactly great. <clears throat> Uh, Jackson Sim is playing Hunt Showdown. Haven't heard that from the game from that game in a bit. Black Shadow is playing Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. Jimmy McGinger is let's see software and game development. Random Gen Dungeons for a turn-based. Okay, I guess they're <laughs> doing a bit of a teaching stream on programming, perhaps. Uh, we've got Rem the Wolf playing Elden Ring. Halloween with Grounded. And last but not least, we have Touch Skeletal with Wild Frost. Though we raided them recently. Uh, where, did I, where did I leave that list? Uh, oh, well, I'll need to figure that out next time. Uh, I think any of those sound interesting? Or shall I take a pick? 
I'm tempted to say uh, pizza. Okay, we did say we would rate them next time. So let well, me double check the place you, muted. You did say you want you would let them pick next time. Well, I guess now they, they are the pick. Yeah. <laughs> okay, copy. Uh, then head to our place. Slash rate and paste. But before we start, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Uh, let's see, any lurkers? I, I <laughs> Pizza is lurking. Hey, Pizza, you've got a raid incoming. And yeah, thank you as always, Drakir and Ram. <laughs> You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, we'll probably finish this game next time on Thursday. Uh... There's a chance that we'll do a multiplayer stream tomorrow. We'll probably move it permanently to Wednesday if it doesn't, uh, if Liz's workday stay the same, because Monday isn't as viable for them anymore. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we'll see where it gets gets moved, where everyone, uh, <clears throat> when everyone should be available. <clears throat> hey. And, uh, yeah, weekend shenanigans will be coming in the weekend. But for now, Yay. let's get that raid started. And, yeah, thank you again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Yep, see everyone. The <laughs> perfect time for the timer to go off. Be <laughs> safe, everyone. Sleep well. And watch out for... Uh, steampunk seagulls. <laughs> And no take handle. I took candle. Wait, did I say candle or handle? <laughs> <laughs>